Here we go. Adam Saban's return to NCW after NCW broke in, where he completely dominated over his opponent. His seething hatred for Ken Phillips will not keep him away from NCW. As Adam Saban enters the arena again. Like, I don't even remember the guy he beat due to the fact Saban just squashed him. Two rolling forearms and then two Saban bombs, baby. And it was one, two, three, continue my paychecks. But this time, Adam Saban going up against a man who did not even go at 100% in his match. A man who was holding back in his match, his debut match per se, his test match. And that man is from Russia. His name is Drago of Poland. Where he, where he just hit two massive European uppercuts out of midair on Quinn to eliminate the former United States champion from NCW. Take it, the first man to take a spot. And now Drago looking focused to make an impact here the question is what is if that was Drago at maybe 80% what is Drago like at 100% hopefully we will find out in this match where we will see the talented Adam Saban try to derail the momentum of Drago of Poland But Saban wisely re leaving the ring as this big man looking focused, looking ready to go. His shirt says from Russia with love. I'm pretty sure that means a fist across the face. But Saban, he's from the tough streets of the United Kingdom. He, he'll he take the fight. He'll take the punch and throw one straight back at you. But look at the size difference between Drago and Saban. Saban not backing off. European upcut and a kick to the leg trying to cut the big man down as he hits those double forearms and here he goes up on the shoulders and he goes for an airplane spin so he's got the strength to fight with Drago and drop him straight down onto the mat now Saban trapping Drago's arm as he's bending the other one back holding it down oh just stomping the elbow joint there's Adam Saban now, still in complete control of Drago. One shoulder barge changing the momentum of this match. And here he goes, ready to show Saban how to do a real powerbomb straight from the mat, straight into the mat. Big devastating powerbomb by Drago. With Saban back up with a high knee to the face. Now looking to twist the head off of Drago. Saving a former number one contender for the NCW Hardcore title. However, he is hell bent on trying to get redemption against Ken Phillips for betraying him. We saw Ken Phillips last week losing to the Black Jesus. I wonder what's going to happen with that one, but either way, Saban now focused on his latest challenge the seven foot Russian giant. It seems like he's going pretty well. He hits that suplex beautifully in the middle of the ring. Drago, new to NCW, so it might take him some time to get used to the arena. We've seen some people struggle to get used to their new surroundings here in NCW. After all, this isn't just any universe mode. This goes up a lot. This goes up on YouTube at Neo Extreme Gaming. Cheap pop. I oh know Saban begging Drago to send back up. Missile drop kick. Sending Drago for a loop here as Saban still in control as he goes for the dragon sleeper. But foot that massive foot under the bottom rope. Referee sees it. But Saban still technically focused on destroying limb by limb of Drago Apollyon. 
Because he just stomps the elbow. Saban giving him no room to breathe. Rago had to throw him off to get room. But like that, Adam Saban, bye bye, is back on Drago. And here he goes, Irish whip right into the corner. Looked like he was ready to fire off with these European uppercuts, but no. Drago still in fight and control. Big shot to the face. But Saban able to counter. And here he goes, Dragon Suplex. Head hit, the back of Drago's head hit in the mat. And Saban trying to get the fans going here. But Drago just big back body drop. And Ray's fans booing him. They, do, they don't like the Russian. Then again, we are in the United Kingdom. This is Saban's home. They want their hometown boy to win. But Drago, big spine buster. Oh, look at that. Fans booing. But Drago now looking for that big choke slam. Oh, just annihilating him. Goes for the cover. Could be it. One, two. No, Saban's still in this. Oh, Adam Saban kicked it ahead. Oh, what's he got here? Reverse exploder. Adam Saban, bye bye, is ready to come back with the victory here. Rolls him over, goes for the cover. Gets between Drago and the ropes. One, two, no, Drago able to kick out. Saban questioning what he's got to do. Here he goes, looking for a big move. Looking for the Saban bomb. Can he lift him up? There it is, Saban bomb. Annihilates the Russian giant, dragged him to the middle of the ring. Goes for the cover. One, two, three, no. Drago able to kick out of the Saban bomb. And they did, Adam Saban getting his ho hometown folks on their feet as he's looking to slay the Russian beast. As he's working on that lower back with those knee drops. A Drago shot to the gut. Here we go, Adam Saban. Big bridging suplex there. A Drago able to counter with that arm drag. Fans on their feet. But what does Drago have in mind here? We don't know because Saban able to block it and counter. Drags him out to the middle of the ring. Bridging suplex, one, two, three, no. Drago able to pop his shoulder up. Fans on the side of Saban. And Saban looking to get some momentum back on his side. Here he goes into the corner. Drago is definitely still holding back here. And Adam Saban going for a rolling forearm. Big knockout shot there. Now Saban looking to break the legs, tying him up, and then drilling the knees right into the mat. The Drago able to kick him off, still got strength in those legs, begging him to get up as the fans are booing him. And Saban back to his feet, back elbow. Oh, jawbreaker counter. Drago was out, for, out on his feet for a second. His eyes a little glazed over. Had to grapple, but here he goes up on the shoulders. Saban able to counter, inverted DDT. But now Saban looking to end it, looking for one more Saban bomb. Here he goes, can he hit it? Up and down, that is the Saban bomb, bye bye. But Adam Saban not going for the victory. He's enjoying this oh too sweet moment. And there he goes for the cover. One, two, three. Saban still continuing his winning ways as he defeats newcomer Drago. Who held back yet again this time. It paid back.
Drago not not wanting to hit his finishing move. And Saban wasn't dumb enough to go for a springboard. When he know he knew Drago was waiting for him. Even after one match, Saban came into this match with a game plan, executed it to the max, and he is able to walk around the, the streets of the United Kingdom still, or with, I wouldn't say still champion, but still with the victory. Look at that, that's the first, that was the second Saban bomb, Saban bond. Yeah, lost the words there. But Adam Saban just walking around him, making sure there was no traps laid out before he dropped down for the cover. And like that, Adam Saban picking up the victory. Question is, where does Saban go from here?